the number one thing seniors struggle with the most with their e-bike. Stick around to find out what it is. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry and today I'm going to tell you the number one thing seniors struggle with the most with their e-bike. But before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below. Stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're doing, giveaways we do, and of course new product releases. Lastly, both of these e-bikes right here are linked in the description below. Two great options for senior e-bike riders. Low step through heights, comfortable riding positions, check them out, link the description below and also in the corner of the video. All right, so I have done hundreds of test rides with senior riders over the age of 60, 70 and 80 and I've witnessed firsthand what senior riders struggle with the most on electric bikes and it may not be what you think it is. The number one thing seniors struggle with on their e-bike is the mounting and the dismounting. Everything else can be figured out and they get up and riding no problem. Using the throttle, using the pedal assist, the actual aspect of riding the bike, no problem at all. Um, in my experience, everybody figures it out and gets used to it very quickly. The struggle I find is the mounting and dismounting. This is the simple step through e-bike with the lowest step through I've seen of any e-bike on the market. It's 11 inches. This is as simple as stepping your leg through the frame. Now, a lot of seniors when they get into e-biking, you know, they're used to their old bicycles, you would come and swoop your leg around like this. Now, I don't advocate for that on e-bikes because e-bikes are heavier, and if you catch your leg somewhere and you knock the bike over, it's gonna be hard to get the bike uh, back. Now, something like this with a little bit lower, you could take that approach but you still have to swing your leg around. It's a little bit cumbersome. You can see on this one, the step over is a little bit higher, but it's, it's going to still be lower to move your foot this high versus bringing your leg and hip up this high. So what I find is a lot of riders over the age of 60 and 70, they can't move their hips like they used to, or they can't move their knees like they used to. And a lot of times they're trying to get onto an e-bike that's not conducive to their physical ability. And honestly, what I've noticed is the difference in a couple inches is a big deal. So 10 inches versus 12 inches is a big deal for slipping your foot through and over this bar. And I see a lot of people, they don't wanna tell me they can't do it, but I could tell it'd be much better if they had an e-bike with a step through like the simple step through as an example or the zip and fold right here. They wanna opt for a different style of bike because they like it or it might look cool, but the bar might be up this high. So every time they're mounting and dismounting, it's a real struggle for them. And I don't like it. I don't like witnessing it because it really makes me scared that they're gonna knock the bike down and go with the bike. Or when you come to a stop, you wanna be able to easily you know, slide your leg through and off. So you can see when you get off, you just get here. You know, there's probably a lot of built up anxiety while you're riding, you're all happy, go lucky. When you stop, your legs are tired and it, it can be a struggle, you know, if this bar is up high and you're trying to get your leg up and pull it through and people are hopping on one foot and it's just, it's very cumbersome and it's not the ideal situation. And I see it every day, I see the struggle. now. We advocate for more seniors. If that is something that's an issue for you with list, lifting your feet, go with a step through frame like this. It just makes the mounting and dismounting so much easier and the on off. And you can see even between these two, the zip and fold is a 20 inch wheel. The simple step through is a 26 inch wheel, but the frame on this one dips even lower. Like I said, this is an 11 inch step through height. This one's a little bit higher. I believe this is about a 16 inch step over height. Now you can still step over, but you can see I have to bring my leg up, you know, higher than I do on the simple step through. But this is the number one thing I see seniors struggling with is the mounting and dismounting, whether it's on an electric bike or even a bicycle for that matter. So as you move into, you know, post 60, my recommendation is, is find a frame style 
with a very low step through that will accommodate your body for years to come. Just because you can do it maybe when you're 62, ask yourself, can I hold on to this bike into my 70s when I'm 75, especially if you're making an investment on an electric bike and you wanna spend you know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, and even up dollars, um, I would hope you'd wanna have it for a few years and make sure that your body can utilize that e-bike frame for years to come. Again, if you invested $2,500 today, maybe you already have arthritis, over time it's gonna get a little bit worse, you're gonna get restricted movement in your hips, and I've seen it so many, so many times where um, people have come back to us a year or two later, and all of a sudden maybe a frame style they had is now not conducive to them getting you know, their foot over. Now, as silly as it may sound, if you are a senior looking for an e-bike, maybe just get a gauge of how high can you actually lift your foot? How high can you actually lift your hip to, to uh, you know, let you know what kind of frame could you physically mount and dismount? I just don't like to see when people enjoy the riding so much and the mounting and going and the dismounting is the most stressful uh, part of the entire ride. So in my experience, that is the number one thing seniors struggle with on electric bikes. It's probably not what you thought. If you have any comments, questions, or thoughts on it, please put them below in the comments section. I'd love to hear. Or you can email us, the team at 630.com, or call us, 310-982-2877. Both of these e-bikes, which I think are great for seniors, the simple step-through has the lowest step-through height of any e-bike I've seen ever at 11 inches. Find these linked in the description or in the corner of the video or at the end of the video as well. In addition to that, we have a 30-day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love your e-bike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for the first year. If anything goes wrong in the first year, send it back, no questions asked, or sorry, if anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of the parts and labor to keep you up and riding. Lastly, we have a Facebook peddlers group with thousands of members. If you wanna ask them questions before you purchase, get comfortable, see how they like their e-bikes, do that. And then once you have yours, post in the group, make friends, it's tons of fun. Lastly, you can uh, download our 630 Peddlers app and track your rides on the app and also compete on the leaderboard, it's tons of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.